back out again. This time it's Saturday. Ah, oh, something there. When your sweat goes in your eye, I need to wash my face in the stream. It's a stream a bit further up. Um, I've dumped them too. Excess baggage, man. Can't be bothered. That's Bray Fell up there. Last time we were over here, I was up there with Mark and Steve. Was Steve there? Ah, no, he was. Ah, he was. So I've come up the valley of terror. And I've just got to go up the valley of death now. I've got to climb. Um, I've got to climb up to the, the like the ridge up there where the stream is. That's my next stop. Um, I'm have a wash and maybe see if I can fill up my water bladder, my spare one for cooking and that. And then I'm gonna go over on the go across to Meal Fell and then see how I feel from there. Cause I'm absolutely knackered. Didn't get much sleep last night because of the the bivvy was uncomfortable. Like I didn't really pitch it very well. Um, and then just woke up feeling a bit rough this morning. No idea how. Um, so I've been to Morrison's for a Moggy's breakfast. Uncle George, Moggy's breakfast. I had to wait half an hour. Like it was dead busy. But anyway, it was nice. And then I went to called back to the pub for a pint, just the one. And now I'm here, I'm back in this valley. It's red hot, roasting. That's why I'm sweating. So I'm gonna press on and see if that stream's running. I've had a bit of rain, so it should be, it should be back. We'll see. Well, it's a disaster. It's normally like a flowing stream run, runs over there. Fill it up from there. Can't use that like nightmare. Thought I had plenty of rain. I'm gonna go up that way, I think. Up that way to the, the ridge, and then you go down, cut across the valley, and then back up. I have five minutes here. Just two stops. I walked all that way to the first stop, and I've walked all the way up here without breathing. Stopping for a breath, no, I don't know. You know what I mean. Uh, just got five minutes here. And then crack on. Great success! Lovely and clear that. Oh, that's uh, that's me water sorted. I've got plenty to take. I'm going to drink a lot on this trip, on this climb, because I've got to go up there, right? Get the top of there, drop down, and then back up to that one, the second one. So I need plenty of water. Right. Gotta wash my face, take advantage of the situation. Oh well, that's one section done. This is the very underwhelming summit of Meal Fell. There's the shelter. Had some good good nights in there, a couple of good camps up here, like. I'm gonna go on to that one over there though. So I've gotta drop right down again and then back up. Ooh. Some shank this. Come from right over there, the, like the bottom of that bigger hill is like the path you can see. Follow all the way along, comes down there. That's where I got my water there in the valley. And then come across and then up the side here and up the path. It looks 
it looks worse from there. This looks huge from down there. This path here looked really hard, but it wasn't that bad really. Just, uh, I've just been walking a bit fast, that's all. That's why I'm out of breath. So, five minutes here, and then I'm going to go over, try and get into that one. Great cock up. I'm just doing it for the name. I'm going to try and fiddle with the settings. It looks really dark, this. This the picture. Like over there, it looks dark. I don't know if it's the sun doing that. Or the settings, the brightness might need turning up a bit. Anyway, weather's all right. It's not too hot and sunny. There's a lovely breeze. That breeze is just perfect. So that's good. Get the midges off as well. Cools you down, keeps the midges off. It's what you want. It's perfect breeze. That water's no good for drinking. We've already investigated that. Right, we push on. So, so this is the top of Mail Fell. I've just come over the... I went to the cairn. Come down. And you go all the way down. Right down into that bottom valley. And then up the side of it. Oh, it looks really hard from here. What am I doing? <laughs> you know, when you get on it there, it's probably alright. But from here, it looks huge. And there is a path that goes up the side, like you can see from here. It goes all the way up there. And on the top. I don't know if the far one is the summit or this. I'll have to check the map. Oh, this is going to be a canny. It's a big drop, like, and then back up. Yeah, it'll be alright. We've got plenty of time. We've got all day. And I'm determined to do this. Been here so many times and not done it, so I'm going to go up. And if it's any good, I'll probably come back with Tomto. As he is, he needs to do this. At least I found the route to it. Let's suss it out. Oh, so I'm down. Down this path here, it was so steep. I've got to go back up it tomorrow. I'm going to have a look on the map. Let's see if I was way back that way. Cut all that out. I'm pretty sure you can get back, I don't know. But I've got to go up there next. Right up over, over that. That's, this is just the beginning. It's huge. And typically, water source. If you come here, just just in the off meal file, just before you go up, there's a, I can hear a flowing river, like waterfalls in it. Looks quite, uh, quite a lot of water in it. So there's your water source. I could have just filled up there instead of carting this, splitting the, the water I gathered. It's probably a kilogram in it, the weight. Right, I'm gonna get going. I don't need to be up here. I'm not looking forward to it. Be hurried. Well, this is the summit of some description. The whole top is actually the summit of this. Then there's another cairn along there. So the whole top is great cock up on the map, the whole that's actually higher over there. So that's 522, 526 on the map. This is 513. I'm torn because there was a nice it's flatter over there. It's a nice flat bit there. I mean, this is a bit lumpy and uh, uneven. But look at the views from here. Look at these views. Binsy in it. What do you call it? The uh, Bassenthwaite. Back of Skidor. Back of Skidder. And over there, all the hills we've done. I might go back over there though, because uh, it's a flatter pitch. Over there. This is on the right camber, this bit, it like, goes like that, over. I'm trying a new tent out tonight. So that would be fun, I've never used it before. Anything could happen. I think I might go back over there. It's still good views. Oh, right, so I've come back to the uh, the other top here. See how it's much flatter. This is not on. It was very uneven over there. It's just there. Uh, Hundred yards or something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set up. So the new tent anyway is this. Been sent this like been given it freebie to try out. Go next. Let's go outdoors next. 
or Gonex. Gonex or Gonex. Don't know. Gonex sounds better. Might be familiar with it, might not be. Yeah. It's a um, dome tent, two poles. Weighs about two kilos. Everything's in there, like the poles and the pegs. The pegs are them shepherd's crook things. I don't like them, so I brought my own pegs. I've brought them just for illustration purposes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set it up. I'll set it up with a time lapse. I'm also going to I'm going to film the setting it up, or I'll do a separate review. I'm not going to review this in this. I'll use bits of this footage in the review. I'm going to set it up here. Just see how long it takes. There we go, tent up. I like that door. It's got one on the back as well. You can do that on the back. There's some more vent in here. A bit, of, uh, a bit of air in, plenty of air getting in. Oh, both sides, good. It's felt good. Funny these little things, aren't they? Yeah, it's nice and vented. So I'm gonna tie the guy lines on. You've got the guy out points here. I think that's for the uh I think that's for the guy the guy out point and I've tied the door back with it. I'm not actually sure. Where the guy points are. Four on it. Anyway, go next. That's not guide out, and look at it, it's absolutely solid. It's just standing, it's just free stand. It's rock solid. Hey, that's good, that you know. It's not a bad design, right? The green limpet. It's the midway between the Steiger and the Solo, size wise. Yeah, oh well. Keep yourself ready, look, I've got visitors company. Just had a, a girl come up before. She's she's walked for miles. I watched her come down off the top of a little scar fell over meal fell and then she's come up the way I came up. Took a few photos here and then did off. She didn't go to that bit. You missed that bit out. If you're watching this you missed that. Anyway I'm gonna just get my stuff sorted out and chill out. The hard work is done. I'm inside with all the flies, like, that's my view, out oh, the tent, I like it, I'm going to open this door as well, get a bit of air coming through, but this, this is the uh, mesh net, but there's a, there's a tag missing off there, I can't hook it up, the tag's missing, that's a, that's a zero mark, that's points off that, like, there's a, I could imagine that'd be quite handy, wouldn't it? Just hang, just put your lighter, your lantern in there or whatever. Just stick anything up there. But without the tag, it's pretty much useless. Oh, never mind. Can't win everything. Yeah, I'm gonna open this door here, get the fresh air in. Come back when that's open. Right, I've got a guide out now. Guide, put, tie the guy lanes on. It's a two minute job. It's pretty solid, like. Part of it wants the wind to get up, but the good thing about this, oh, that needs tucking in. You just took that in there, it's got a tie, a tie back on it. Um, look at that. Boosh! That's mint. Nice, that like. I like the feature. The fly sheet feels like. It's like a top, like top material, but on the back it doesn't have any, it doesn't seem to be coated on the back. I would like it to rain, 
see if it's waterproof. It's a hell of a way to find out if it's waterproof or not, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna uh, chuck my stuff in. I'm gonna air my bag out. I think it's a bit damp from this morning. Just crack on. Nice. Place to myself. I've only seen that one person, that one woman. This is the uh, Soya Mini Squeeze. Basically, that's what you do, give it a squeeze. It comes out not badly. Put them that old Soya thing. I'm gonna um, boil this water up and then make a cup of noodles. That's it. It's so nice here. That breeze is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look at the bears. Eternal haze. I cut. Um, Faith in Futures. Model Citizen. Brew Dog versus Salt. This is Salt Brewery. I um, haven't had that one before. Need to try that. And you guessed it. Good game. Good game. My summer brew. I'm gonna have big pasta and sauce. I've got all kinds. I've got this fire pot thing. I think I had that last time. I've got these again. Lovely them. So tomorrow, breakfast is um, apple and what does it say? Apple and blueberry. Writing's terrible. Already special. And uh, just in case I get hungry, some more noodles. I'm on a right budget at the minute, I don't know why. I've got my Van Gogh 30 pound sleeping bag. That's the most expensive thing here. Tent, 79.99 I think for these tents. It's not a top end tent, right? I'm not going to dress it up. It is what it is. I mean, it's alright, it's a bit rustly. But, you know, aren't they all? Now yeah, I've got my water boiled there now, so I'm going to have this. And then just sit and chill out. Might have a beer. Who knows? The night is very young. I'm just sitting here, chilling out. A few. Um, yeah, this is beer. This is the Brew Dog in Salt Brewery, Model Citizen. Oh, any IPA. Mm. Oh. It's very floral. It's not bad. Really? Mm, not bad. You can drink that. Lots of creatures all on the outside, not on the other side of the mesh though. I don't want to zip in, you know, I just want to leave the doors open. I've chased them out before I go to bed. But yeah, just waiting for the sun going down. Going down over there. Oh, wind's supposed to pick up as well, so I'll test this out. It's, it feels pretty solid and firm, but the wind test will do it. I'm just sitting here. I've got uh, Craig Charles on. That's why I like a signal, so I can listen live. So I can get myself a new little radio. I have to rely on my phone. Right, I'll get back into this. Tip. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see us. If you can, unlucky. Um, I'm going to go to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. I was up at half six this morning. Up that bloody high cup, Nick. 
and I'm very tired. So, tent's good, it's got condensation on it though, the temperature's dropped again. See what I say it is, it could be a cheap tent, it could be an expensive tent. If that condensation, if that temperature drops, <clears throat> you've had it. It's not that bad actually, there is a bit though. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna get in. Um, just, Craig Charles just finished there, it's only, it's only nine o'clock. I'm not going to bed yet, I'm just going to wind down, you know, I'm not going to film anymore. Um, what, is, what there is, is a festival on, it's called the Wanna Sea Festival, and it's uh, near Penrith. I'm at the back of these hills over here, and I can hear it, I can hear the music. But luckily, I have earplugs. So I'll be putting them in. I'll, I'll probably sleep like the dead tonight. Like. So I'll get up in the morning, have a cup of tea, everything's ready. I've got me, me stove here, the water's filtered. The coffee is... Oh, the cup, oh, you can't see. The cup's prepared. And that's it. I'm just going to finish this beer. My taxi beer. And that's it. So we'll see you in the morning for the old... Hidey high, maybe, maybe. I just suddenly thought of Jason and the Argonauts. I don't know why. That was weird. Valley. It's been windy overnight. Unpacked the doors. It's been solid though. It's firm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's chilly, chilly, chilly. A bag had its day, like. The summer's over. That's getting put back in the the wardrobe till next season. It was cold last night, chilly with that one. The mighty big spiders in here. That's a big one. Lots of spiders. All the spiders. Daddy long legs. Oh, it's like Indiana Jones. Anyway, I'm going to get the kettle on, and then I'm going to have an early shift. Right, here we go. Clear. Didn't take much putting away, really. Just take the fly sheet off, stick that somewhere safe so it doesn't blow away. Drop the mesh in her, put the fly sheet back on top of it and roll it all up. And then I went back in the bag. I've made that uh, can look a little bit more more like manly, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna head. It is time. Seven o'clock. So I think I'm done. I gotta get home and uh, I've got things to do. So we'll see you on the next one. If now it happens on the way back. I've got to go all the way up Meal Fell. Yeah, that's gonna kill us, that like. Anyway, after that it's all right. Well, I'm just stopping for a little rest. It came off there. The, that's the second summit I went to. That first one there is where I camped. So I came down the front of it. Instead of going over Meal Fell, I come round the side. It's like a faint path you can make up around the side of it. Ankle break if you get it wrong, like. All keeping low. Got into the valley. I climbed up the side of the valley. Got onto that path and then come across here. And I'm on the track here. Track here. And then all the way back down there and cut through. And that's it, right? So this is definitely it. There's no one else to talk about. 
we'll just see you for the next one, whenever that is, wherever.